Convent, what's up? Welcome to my channel, Am I Trippin' or Not Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. So I am here to do Grab Bag Monday. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, I'm here to do Grab Bag Monday, G. I heard uh, dot, dot, dot in response to your prayers is what I heard. Because I didn't know what kind of reading I wanted to do, but they said dot, dot, dot in response to your prayers. So I'm assuming it's the prayer event. I was told uh, you've been saved from some things seen and unseen. Convent is what I was told. I also heard diggable planets. Uh, we beat to rap what key beat to lock and I'm cool like that. I'm cool like that. I feel like it's nothing to worry about or something. I don't know. They started playing diggable planets. So I don't know. That's what they said in response to the prayer event. Diggable planets. Uh, Y'all are good with the whole Mars and Saturns and all that other shit. So that probably means a lot to you uh, astrological scholars out there and astronomical uh, scholars out there as well. So uh, if you know what that means, diggable planets, not the song, but what that means in regards to the planets right now, I don't know. Are they digging on some shit? Are they digging? I would not even be surprised if they drilling on Mars for, for oil and shit. I don't know. That ain't what they said, but they just made me think like, hmm, anyway. So yeah, that's the type of reading I'm doing. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, uh, but I didn't lay cards down. You know we do this shit together to on Grab Back Monday. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with your sign, nor situation, nor do I give a fuck. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in town long. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love ya. All right, y'all. Let's see. Shit, I'm, uh, I want to know in response to the prayer event. So let's see, convent. I feel like they're going to tell us some, uh, they said what's behind door number one, door number two, and door number three. I don't know. I don't like that pick a card shit, so I hope that ain't what y'all hinting to, spirit guys, because no. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. No, okay. All right, just checking, buddy. Anyway, in response to the prayer event, what is this message for the convent? This message for us in response to the prayer event? Unrequited love. So you had a hater out there that tried to stop you or... I don't know. That that shouldn't even come up in regards to the uh, prayer event. But this lets me know that this is some relationship is probably going to be affected. Uh, convent. Uh, it feels like you. Uh, it feels like you stop fucking with somebody. This feels like you. But it also feels like a hater around or someone tried to distract you or keep you from it. Nothing but death can keep me from it. Yeah. And shit like Mr. Nettie and shit trying to keep her from her sister. Tuh. Yep. Give me another one. In response to the your prayers. I told you it was you. Writing people off. I know. I told you. I told you they were trouble. I told you. So look, convent. In response to your uh oh, okay. They said they ain't even them. Uh ooh, I ain't gonna say that. They said drop dead, Fred. I don't know who the fuck that's for, but that was a movie, so, but that's what they said. I don't know. Uh, some people are being uh, written off for you, Convent, is what I heard. Some relationships, I feel like these are people that just didn't have no love for you, period. This unrequited love. It feel like a hater. It really does. Or somebody uh, trying to hold you back or something or trying to do something to you to stop you from fulfilling your purpose or some type of blockage, they said. This person being taken care of. In response to your prayers. So I don't know. Maybe y'all ask. A negative speaking thinking motherfucker. That's for sure. That's who it is. A petty, petty woman or a petty man. Shit. Mmm. We just getting started. Wowzers. Give me another one. Third eye on open status. Right? So stay woke. Boom, 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 boom. 
in response to your prayers. Uh, what's that mean where they say I asked God to. What it is? What is that shit? I asked God to remove obstacles and I started losing friends or some shit like that. They're showing me some meme. Everybody knows that meme. Uh, it's like an OG meme and shit. That's basically what this is. It's like, and I started losing. Oh, I asked God to remove my enemies and I started losing friends. Yeah, convent. Them motherfuckers weren't really your friends, coworkers, uh, whoever the fuck, lovers, whatever. Uh, people about to show their ass in response to your prayers. I feel like this had some effect on people around you is what I'm hearing. Because remember, this was to lay, since I lay, remember to lay your burdens down. So maybe these people are burdens. These relationships are burdens. These bills are burdens. These children, all of this shit, uh, convent. So I'm hearing a lot of prayers uh, just in these three cards here. All right, shit. Yeah, some of y'all are going to... Uh, some of y'all were questioning if somebody was really like down with you or no, you gonna write this person off. I feel like you uh, uh, starting to get like me with that wonder and shit, bitch. I ain't got time to wonder. I got fucking bills, bitch. Wonder about those. I'm, I'm trying to wonder about those, bitch. Not how you feel about me. How about that? Yeah, my elimination process I heard in response to your prayers. But uh, shit, I had thought y'all already take out the papers and the trash. I thought y'all had already done that. But remember, I told y'all there was a wolf in sheep's clothing and shit. So. Mm. I'm hearing about some more tarot readers about to quit. They're not giving me no specific names, but this is the third eye. That shit ain't paying no bills and bitches don't love it like they used to. I don't know. So uh, it's going to be some more uh, vacancies in tarot land out here for whatever reason. I feel like it's monetary reasons or whatever type of uh, love or appreciation or gratitude, praise that they were looking for. They ain't getting it. So mm -hmm. that's what I had heard in response to your prayers. Yeah, they must need to get their house in order too. And this is the hermit. So they're not even using their intuition. They said these are tarot card readers. There's a difference, they said, which is true. Yeah, so they're gonna be a, a tarot card readers that are going to fall off, not a intuitive readers is what they're saying. Gotcha. That's the ones that shuffle for 15 minutes and repeat themselves for the other 12, basically is what they had said. Yeah, that's the secret to keep you motherfuckers watching. I ain't trying to hate, but I'm just saying, that's what they telling me to tell y'all. That's the secret. Sit down, eat your slice of pizza and be quiet. They say, this. she say, uh, I don't eat uh, pizza because it adds on weight, but she be lying. She does eat pizza, but that's why her friends don't invite her nowhere because she tells people something that's uh, not true. So it's either some tarot readers, I'm going to keep it a stack. It's either tarot readers are regurgitating messages around this bitch. And that's the secret. They Their third eye is not activated at all. It was written off a long time ago just because of some situation, some low vibing situation they're trying to be in and trying to help other people. That's why I, I'm a firm believer that uh, if you're really doing this type of works, any type of healing work or anything like that, uh, and you claim to be doing it in the name of God, in the name of the Most High, uh, there's no way you can do it successfully if you're still going through this type of shit, unrequited love and all this other like toxic shit, being in these type of situations or having this toxic energy. You can do it, but you're not doing it for the most high is what this is here. So that's why they're saying it's these type of readers, people that are regurgitating messages, uh, channel messages being sifted. I'm hearing uh, they showing me people playing telephone. Remember that game? You start the message off at one end and by the time it gets to the end, it's a whole different message, but it's kind of similar and shit, but you got to mix it up. They're telling me, watch out for these channel messages these tarot readers are putting out because you've heard them somewhere. <laughs> you've heard them somewhere. I don't know. I ain't trying to dig up in nobody bag, but it's saying y'all having issues anyway. So, I mean, I'm just saying that's what they said in response to the prayer event. So maybe some of y'all were asking, you know what I mean? If this is uh, something you should continue doing or working in this business, this healing or whatever the fuck. I don't know. But uh, there's something that's uh, going on here in regards to that situation so that's for somebody some people i don't know but uh it's gonna be some more vacancy shit so for you real ones out there them underground ones and it's a lot of y'all out there that i run into and i'm like damn they dope they only got like four thousand five thousand uh subscribers 
uh, it's a lot of the uh, underground tarot readers being overshadowed. I ain't about to call out no names and shit about uh, who's all out there because it's a lot of y'all. But kudos to y'all still doing that shit because some of y'all are fire for real. So uh, shout out to y'all to the underground, right? Welcome to the convent. We love you. Uh, but yeah, that's what this is as well. Somebody's going to find out some uh, secret about a baby. So if someone wanted to know something uh, to be revealed about a baby, if someone's baby belonged to someone, I, I mean, shit, in, in response to your prayers, I don't know, convent. This what y'all was asking for? They said things, okay, so seen and unseen. Okay, so that's something unseen. I don't feel like you're looking for this shit. They said you got your head down, working on your DU studies and your third eye. I feel you, because I was confused at first. Like, why would we give a fuck? But uh, that's unseen. So that's just something that, uh, shit, I guess you just find out, bitch. Like a, like a little kid, grab bag Monday. Like, oh, shit, that's in there too? I didn't even ask for that, basically, is what they had said. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, I want to use the tea. What a unrequited love. Mm. It's something going on with a baby, y'all. Uh, in regards to your prayers, I don't know if some of y'all were, uh, this looks like a baby that somebody doesn't want. So I'm being told this could be for one person that's like hoping they're not pregnant by somebody uh, that they didn't use their best judgment with when fucking with this person. Uh, shit, some of y'all are, some of y'all ain't. In response to your prayer, I can't even tell you. Cause some of y'all, you, some of y'all, you do. And it's just an unrequited love situation. Others of y'all, this is written off with this baby. So it's kind of half and half. So some of y'all are bringing in a baby into this world with somebody you, uh, don't want to be with G or you don't like, or, mm. well, I do declare. I had a feeling they was going to be, uh, put one with the secret love child. Secrets exposed. I told you, my girlfriend, my girlfriend. Somebody laughing at a motherfucker, man. Somebody's, look, you could have told someone, convent, like, I don't think that baby belongs to you. Or somebody could have, I don't know. But as a result of your prayer, some secrets are coming out about a relationship where somebody didn't want to uh, be there in the first place. And somebody's, uh, I don't feel like this is somebody's, why are they laughing? This don't look like no baby shower. They look like if they are, they talking about the baby or the baby mama. Like, girl, did you see? Like, like that type shit. It don't look. <sighs> Secrets exposed about a secret love child in an unrequited love situation. So ain't nothing loving in this shit except for the baby and shit. So uh, as a result of this prayer, that's why I said some of y'all do have a baby with this person. Some of you do not. Uh, the ones that do have a baby, that's the that's the most lovingest thing that comes out of this shit. And I feel like some of y'all find out that maybe uh, some of y'all want to know if somebody got somebody pregnant or somebody, somebody's baby. I don't know. <laughs> uh -uh, it's half and half, G. I'm moving on from that shit. I mean, fuck. They don't even love each other. So I actually feel sorry for the fucking baby. These two people don't even fucking love each other. That, that's the tiki and the whole shit, the parents and shit, this part. So as a result of your prayers, you're going to find out that two people don't love each other are still fucking creating children. You know what I'm saying? Like, what kind of... That's why we in fucking 2020 now and shit. That's why. So, yeah, as a result. Mm, mm, mm. What on writing people off? Drinking to cope with emotions. <clears throat> I like this with writing shit off. So y'all are writing off uh, addictions, things that are just toxic, bad habits, all that shit. Drinking, smoking, uh, fast food, overeating, uh, cold, whatever that shit is that this is that you use to cope with uh, emotions and shit that's not good because this don't look good. Uh, you writing that shit off, Convent Soul. Some things have been, uh, vices have been taken away. Some earthly vices have been taken away that you asked to be taken away. Yeah. 
uh, in regard, yeah, this is us in regards to the baby shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Look, I, I, what? I'm trying to drink to cope with my uh, emotions about my studies here at the university. Uh, Y'all not even worried about this other shit. People that are not worried about this baby and unrequited love, they feel like a third party situation. You are the people that are going to find out about it because you ain't looking for it. You know how shit just fall in your lap? That's what they said. Something's going to fall in your lap or you're going to find out some information uh, through someone convent. Wow. I ain't even got to the bitch at the damn uh, soda shop and shit with the pizza. That's the real secret right there. Shit. Um, okay. In response to your prayers, y'all, it must've been a lot. Yeah. Unattractive behaviors. So a lot of addictions, uh, I'm hearing are being written off as a, re a result of your prayers convent. So that's what's up. That's good. I do feel like somebody baby ain't theirs and everybody's laughing. I really, really fucking do. So maybe y'all were with somebody and uh, y'all, I feel like somebody told somebody like, that's not your kid, Joe. Uh, and this person, maybe it was with somebody they wrote off or they broke up with. And this person went back to this person because they told them that was they, this baby black. Okay. Ain't no way that baby belonged to this Asian girl and this white man. There is no way. So it was something, I don't know, Convent, as a, I don't know how the fuck you saw and nobody else did, but maybe everybody else did. Shit, my girlfriends, maybe your girlfriend, everybody saw the shit. Somebody, family saw this shit and everything. Uh, so maybe some of y'all are, uh, who were afraid of that being true, it's not true, G. Somebody, baby, ain't that motherfucker baby, shit, basically. So maybe you get a redo, maybe that was the reason, uh, oh, I'm hearing uh, some of you guys, that was a deal breaker. Like if that's, if he had a baby or she had a baby by this person, uh, I'm cool. And they didn't for some of y'all. That's not for everybody. Some of these babies here, that baby got teeth. Y'all know damn well, uh, his teeth too, or her teeth or some shit. Somebody got somebody teeth and you can't mistake that shit. Look, they smile just the same. So mm -hmm. what on a stay woke intuition card? Fatal attraction. Mm. <laughs> this is the bitch that won't get off a nana couch and shit because the plastic ain't on it. Ooh. With the third eye card, huh? Uh, as a result of the prayer, some of y'all gonna find out who on your dick. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Uh, you ain't gonna just sense it. You gonna know who's still on your dick. Basically. Fatal attraction. This motherfucker won't leave, G. Uh, what Martin say is like a nat at a barbecue, G. You just keep fanning this motherfucker, but you don't really know necessarily what you fanning. Some of y'all feel some, uh, I don't know, maybe somebody just watching you. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Right, with the third eye card. I feel like you find out who the fuck it is uh, as a result of your prayer. Yeah. I'm being told keep uh, keep everybody close right now and not necessarily talk to them, but keep them in close view is what I heard, Convent. Okay. Who Who is uh, the lady on Nana couch? She got her bag too. So they staying. And I'm staying. This Effie and you and you. This is her. And it came out with the side piece. I told you. You're going to love me. Yeah. Okay. This is a damn dream, girl. Shit, I don't know. Somebody gonna wake the fuck up. That's for sure. It's a dream, girl. Uh, as a result of this prayer, somebody's gonna realize that they are the karmic. Uh, but you know what? I was listening to another reader and just like what she said, we've all been karmics. And that's true. That's very fucking true. I've been one in every fucking relationship I was in before I met my divine masculine. That's some real ass shit. But somebody is, uh, so really they ain't all that bad. Like, that's what she was trying to say. And I totally agree with that shit. That's some real ass shit. But, uh, I guess the, 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 where it gets toxic is where it gets, starts to get codependent and people don't want to learn and grow and separate from those situations. And they still want to, uh, you know what I mean? Vibe out of those type of relationships and not look for something better and become better. So I guess that's the difference. But yeah, yeah, we all been karmics, real shit. But uh, somebody about to wake the fuck up and realize that's exactly what they are. And they like just, I mean, it was, it was all a dream. Fatal attraction and shit. As a result of uh, 
So it could either be someone realizing who, where they stand, right? What position they play in a, in a relationship here at Convent, or this is someone else, uh, possibly this person that was in an unrequited love relationship and got a secret love child and all this other bullshit. They could possibly realize that the person that they've been with the whole time is a side piece. Uh, I feel like that motherfucker knew though, because we went to lay burdens down. So, well, I did say it has an effect on the people outside of you. So yeah, the people outside of you are, uh, shit, they should, they ain't laying they shit down. They shit getting taken. Shit, I can see a motherfucker snatching shit from their ass. So wake up calls is what I heard. So for some of you guys, you voluntarily laid your burdens, da burdens down. Others, these burdens are being uh, taken away from people, which I guess is a good thing either way, really. But uh, these people aren't prepared. You are. <laughs> That's the only difference. That's the only difference. So a burden could be a toxic relationship and you live with somebody and y'all break up and now you ain't got nowhere to live. You know what I'm saying? That's a motherfucker where the shit got taken. A motherfucker that's like, this is a fucked up ass situation. I should probably save my money so I can afford to leave when it's time to go. That's a motherfucker who prepared. It's a difference. See what I'm saying? So uh, pick what side you on. Shit, did you voluntarily lay your burdens down or are they getting taken away? Because, I mean, shit, it's making me feel like God is saving a lot of people. Just they didn't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They weren't expecting it the way that... uh. He can. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time and shit. Who knows what he's going to do, how he's going to. What they say, we know not the time nor the hour, the day nor the hour or something like that. Real shit. So shit happening real quick here. I feel like a tower here. What on this secret uh, broad eating this pizza? What's this? Blessing in disguise. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful as a result of your prayers? Some secret and shit, some lie. Basically, it's like the Seven of Swords. My lion, dog, face, pony, soldier. Bitch, you do eat pizza because you. I'm watching you, bitch. Right? Blessing in disguise. Some betrayal or something uh, that you've been trying to heal from that you had to write off convent uh, and find something else to kind of deal with these emotions and shit. It's a blessing in disguise. You're going to realize whatever that was that betrayed you was like a, a side piece. It was like a... That's like going to like the chicken shack and they forget your biscuit, but they didn't forget the main piece like the chicken. So you still go home unless you're one of them people that's going to bang on the damn cashier for a biscuit, go all the way back around. Yeah, you're going to be a little salty like, man, the biscuit is good. But had they fucked up on the chicken, now we got a pile up like that's the main fucking dish. Yeah, you ain't missed out on the main dish, though. Blessing in disguise. So uh, what I'm being told is convent like a. Uh, not that I'm in no position to say that your sins are forgiven because I am in no position to say that. But they're making me feel like this us. All the lies and bullshit we done did. Uh, seven of Swords shit. Just whatever the fuck. It's a blessing in disguise uh, that we ran into these people, that we were like these type of people or did these type of things. Because look where we are now. Shit. I'm getting paper. Look at you. How you hating? What do you say? How you hate from outside the club? You can't even get in. Yeah, somebody couldn't even get into the prayer event convent. Remember I told you uh, people were going to be distracted or all kind of other shit. That was like the cue. That's how you would know. Like you were distracted or you were taken away. Your phone rang or something like that because uh, time would have been permitted and allotted. So, I mean, shit. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all are going to be glad that you, uh, sep I'm, I don't know what you find out about some relationship convent, but you are going to be damn fucking skippy proud and shit that you ain't involved in this shit. Whatever it is. What's it never it is. Yeah, because you got a soulmate coming. No wonder, boy wonder. I mean, it looked like you dodged a bullet is what they telling me. Shit. Dun, 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 dun. They start playing the damn uh, saxophone and shit or the trumpet or whatever the fuck that instrument is and shit. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I don't know what that means, uh, y'all. I really don't. They keep saying diggable planets, though. Hmm. Moving on. Let's get into these secret love children. I'm going to use the Nessus because usually these are spiritual cards. They come out kind of, oops, I was the wrong way. They come out kind of weird. They get weird ass messages sometimes, but uh, I don't know. They give me a weird feeling. I tell y'all that all the time. I don't know who the, f I guess her name Nessa. I don't know. Uh, They just weird. I don't know who the fuck Nessa is, but she got some, it's cool energy, but it's like dizzy, <laughs> like unicorny, Careberry, like 
I don't know, y'all can't explain it. Anyway, one little unrequited, uh, unrequited. <laughs> That's what I get for talking about NASA, see? Shit, I'm telling you, shit happening quick. Karma coming back on motherfuckers quick. Can't even talk shit seven seconds later and shit, I'm fucking up. Talking about NASA. Shit, watch your mouth, nut. All right. One on unrequited love, secret love child, and secrets exposed. I feel like some people breaking up. And I don't feel like it's you in a relationship. I don't feel like you are in one. I feel like there's somebody else. Hangman. Or they not breaking up and somebody's just stuck in like, uh, yeah, devil at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's stuck in a fucked up ass situation and they're all gonna laugh at you. I don't know why everybody's laughing uh, with this baby here. This rubbed me the wrong way. Somebody's, oh, well, damn. Okay, as a result of the prayer, somebody look like a motherfucking fool. Shit. Uh, so somebody stays with somebody in a situation with a woman with a baby that they need to control. Yo, hoes. You let her talk to you crazy. You got baby mama drama. And you ain't even got you no baby. Basically. Oh. Convent. As a result of your prayer, some of you guys have someone that you were dealing with. They found out that they, I'm just a sucker for your love. Hey, sucker for love. But for this other motherfucker though, not for you though. They was a sucker for this other person and this ain't even their kid. Or they was uh, helping some woman raise some kids or something like that. And she was sleep. Ooh, wait. Hmm. I heard you blew the cap right off that motherfucker with your prayers. And I don't even think you asked for it, G. Or maybe you ask for someone's eyes to be open. Hangman and shit. Maybe for the blood to fucking go to their brain. Like, uh, Lord, can you please hang him upside down like fucking Count Pimpula so the blood rests to his brain and maybe he or she opens up their eyes? Shit. Look. Yeah, because this person was stubborn. Look how this person, the hangman is upright with their arms all folded. Yeah, somebody got hit in the head with a motherfucking apple is what I hit. hit. This could be your Adam or your Eve with these apples down here, y'all. Uh, one of y'all's divine counterpart and shit is finding out some baby ain't theirs and they've been paying money and bills and stressed out over another man, baby. Damn. As a result of your prayers, this comes out. And it's not as a result of your prayers that this happened. No, no, no. Things are revealed. It says in the Bible, whatever's done in the dark will come to the light, period. Hmm. They told me Adam is exposed. Yeah. Uh, he's naked. He always been naked though, but remember when they bit the apple and shit, that's when they realized they were naked. They felt ashamed is what I'm being told. Someone feels ashamed, uh, convent, in regards uh, as a result of your prayers. So maybe they didn't, uh, part they didn't need to participate. You just that fucking, you know what I'm saying? Shine bright like a diamond. It's my shine bright like a diamond card. So that's the secret when they start fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe uh, this person had some ha 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 moment uh, in regards to your prayers. You know, you probably pray for this person. Some of y'all who pray for this person, uh, this is the person that I'm hearing is going to uh, get some secrets revealed to them about the person that they possibly uh, left you for. Or uh, they are in a relationship with right now, currently. Ooh wee! I do declare. One on the uh, drinking the cope with emotions and writing motherfuckers off. Some of y'all damn sure writing off some friends here, uh, for sure. Especially ones that always got baby mama, baby daddy drama and shit. Every time you call, that's what the fuck they talk about all the time. Hey man, they got to go. As a result, you're gonna realize you have nothing in common with these people anymore. Doesn't necessarily have to be in regards to a baby's mother, baby's father, as far as the person, what they're calling about. But what's whatever the fuck it is, is hella fucking childish. You know what I'm saying? The baby chee-chee's all out. Like, this is embarrassing that you're still going through this at this age, Tina. Like, this type shit, where you just be like, okay, well, I'm going to call you back now. But you don't. Uh, just that low vibing ass conversation that people want to call you and talk about and shit. Uh, Y'all damn show, as a result of your prayers, you won't even be able to stomach that shit no more. Uh, you've been enlightened. Crazy shit is convent. Uh, like, of course, we had the 10 days, right? We did it on October 1st and October the 10th. On October the 10th, which was last night, which will be two nights ago by the time some of y'all hear this, but whenever in the fuck it was, right? 
uh, when I was done with the 10 p.m. prayer, I felt like, damn, was I in prayer for 10 days? Like, I kind of felt like I woke up, even though I felt alert the whole time. I mean, I slept, ate, y'all heard the reading. I did shit normally like I normally did. But after the 10, 10 prayer at 10 p.m., I felt like it really was over. And I was like, oh shit, it felt like, uh, I don't know. Unless that's what it really feels like to lay more burdens down. But it just felt like I was finished. Like the test, or not even a test, but like you've been sitting in a lot, like a SAT or something. And you get to go home, but you come back every day for this portion and this portion and this portion. It kind of felt like that. Let me know if that's how y'all felt. I don't know. Magician Reverse came out on top of drinking to cope with the emotions and writing people off. As a result of your prayers, uh, whoever this is, it feel like some ICDC magic. It's somebody out here. Somebody out here is, uh, as a result of your prayer, somebody's being convicted. Someone who tried to manipulate you, convince. Somebody out here um, is, uh, ooh. As a result of your prayers, convince somebody, uh, it's, the, I don't feel like it's you. Definitely not. Let's just say some people are questioning their existence in this world and not because of you, but it's almost like the effect of your prayers. Uh, it's almost like that powerful to where people are questioning just, I mean, what am I? I mean, it's the day and time. It's everything. But these type of people, these manipulative people who do things to cope with emotions, low vibing things, these people that you don't really fuck with and they see you kind of moving on doing they thing, your thing, excuse me. These people are uh, were affected as well as a result of your prayers. Some of them got worse. Some of them will never do that shit, at least in regards to you. I'll put it to you this way. In regards to you, they ain't manipulating and, and fucking with you no more, writing people off that part. So you protected from whatever this ICDC uh, magic or manipulation or whatever motherfuckers was trying to send your way. They too wrapped up trying to figure out why they paying for false babies and plastic children and shit and uh, I don't know, all kind of shit here. I see a friend group breaking up here. Someone feels outcast of a group. I feel like whoever this is, this is somebody who was part of like some malicious ass, bullshit ass group of bitches or dudes or something. And now they kicking one of them out. The person that's getting kicked out, that's what I said. Somebody's being, uh, their burdens are being taken involuntarily. This person is being treated like shit, but they need to get out this group and they never did it themselves. This could be a family situation, friend group, coworkers, whatever the fuck, some group. Shit, this could be them charm bitches. I don't fucking know. I just know all the sisters is fighting and shit or they bout to. But uh, it's supposed to be this way because one is supposed to do something different with their life here. So, mm -mm. Yeah, I see a, a lot of feminine energy here, like cutting out some toxic energy as far as like some type of... Uh, like, it could be cigarettes, weed, uh, and shit. Don't get me wrong. I ain't never said smoking cigarettes was good. I, look, depending on how much you're smoking and what you're doing with your life, everybody different with the weed and all that shit. If you're doing that shit to cope with emotions, ain't none of that shit is good. A fucking cupcake can, can fuck that shit up. A cake pop can fuck that up is what I'm saying to you. So whatever this is, this bitch baking on a cookie sheet. It could be the Pillsbury Doughboy that's just like uh, cope, to cope with emotions, some toxic shit. So it's whatever it is, y'all. Uh, I feel like a lot of y'all are writing that shit off, whatever it is, or it's being written off. I feel like it's being written off for you. You ever just quit some shit cold turkey one day? I have before. Uh, and never touch shit again. Like just one day I just stopped this shit. It's going to feel like that as a result of your prayer. Something you just get over real quick. Like I don't even have any feelings about it or for it anymore. Uh, convent. I'm hearing also that, uh, people believe you now. They see now. So I don't know who that's in regards to, but I feel like, uh, you were trying to prove something or show something, uh, that something was untrue about yourself. Uh, people believe you now is what I heard. And whoever this person was that you were trying to prove yourself against, this person is drinking or smoking or I don't know. Somebody's writing. A, uh, I'm not trying to like be rude because I don't feel like this is anybody in here. And if it is, you need to get you some help. But somebody out here is writing a suicide note. G. real shit. The crazy shit about it is uh, the motherfucker ain't going to do the shit. 
they doing it to manipulate the magician reversed why is the magician out here period if you this person was really gonna do it and i'm not saying this person should or nothing but i'm just showing you uh how manipulative people are best believe that prayer event uh irritated some demons and some devils better believe it so now they coming out with the world's tiniest violin me me i'll just go now i'll no longer be here to Spread my woes on your commute. All this other bullshit. Uh, this person here, somebody about to, man, push it to the limit. Look out for this shit as a result of your prayer. Somebody's going to be wanting sympathy from other people now. Uh, I feel like they still, they don't go to God, though. They still go to man <laughs> for sympathy and shit. That's why I said this person ain't going. Uh, come on, man. This, uh, they're doing it to manipulate. Magician reversed. Susanna Kessa. Yeah, somebody's going to like or is checking themselves into something too. Girl interrupted. Is it girl interrupted or uninterrupted? Girl interrupted. Yeah. Or girl, I don't know. It's one of them. Some girl getting interrupted or some shit. Some hating ass broad I keep hearing. I don't know. As a if you had some broads hating on you, uh anybody, but it feels like a feminine energy. Uh that shit got interrupted here with her emotional and mental problems. Somebody out here ain't stable, man, for real. And uh, I feel like it's coming to the surface as a result of your prayers. It's a blessing in disguise. It's almost like you don't have to do anything, Convent. All you had to do was show up to the prayer event and the rest of that shit handled. That shit handled, G. Maybe it's somebody, I told you, the net at the barbecue. Maybe somebody that's just fucking annoying, G. Just like want to be like your six fucking toe, bitch. I got five. We wasn't born with six. She like, I don't care. Or he, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. One on the fatal attraction side piece and the stay woke. I told you, you ain't got to do shit. Temperance card, spirit guys. Told you, they going to muscle this motherfucker up out your life. So basically, Convent, as a result of your prayer, somebody who could be just... I mean, boy, why you so obsessed with me? Boy, I want to know. Lying that you sex in me, right? Uh, your bodyguards muscling that motherfucker like, get your ass out. Get your ass out. Get, right? I don't know if they got a side piece. His person looking at you and shit. Like, uh-uh. That's my man. If you mess with my man, look at her. I'm going to be the one to bring it to you. Got my girls. Look, it's a group. Got my man. So find your you hang up on this bitch. If somebody call you with that shit, hell no. Nah. Bitch, I rub Nivea on my skin, bitch. What, what are you talking about? Are you selling lotion, bitch? Oh, well then get the fuck off my phone. Ain't that her name? Don't mess. Look. Anyway. Uh whoever in the fuck this is, this could just be some annoying ass hating ass person, or this could be some muggle or some shit. I don't know, trying to tap into your energies. I don't know. They all getting muscled out. I like I said, your spirit guy's been GH being a lot of people and shit. Just been uh putting roofies in their drinks, knocking these motherfuckers clean out, G, as a result of your prayers. I feel like people just disappear off the map, G. They in the trunk I heard. Ooh, 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 okay. I don't know who that's for. Uh, somebody's karma's coming back. This is a bad person. Not this person I'm picking up on, but I'm picking up on someone that's a very, very bad person. This person, uh, tortures, tortures the neighborhood, I heard. Like, the, it's like the Suge Knight of the, the neighborhood and shit is what they telling me. Pretty Ricky, what they call him. I don't know if that's what they call him for real. Uh, everybody's scared of this man. They said that man ended up in a trunk. Moving on. Shit. I mean, look, you searching for answers. I do not know nothing. Woo! That's all you need to know. They ain't show me no license plate, what type of car, make, model, none of that shit. And I don't motherfucking want to know. Shit, it could be a motherfucking uh, elephant trunk for all the fuck I know. Moving on. Uh, one on the pizza. Blessing in disguise. It feel like, uh, to be honest, and I don't really like picking up on shit like this, but it feel like this is a... Uh, since you laid your burdens down and shit, it's like uh, they going to go like serve your enemigos with karma is what it looked like. Long as you didn't do, long as you showed up to prayer event to mass, right, and stay in school and do your DU studies, look after your children and all the high vibing shit that we do, 
right? You ain't got to worry about shit. It's strength in numbers. They've been telling me that ever since we started doing these prayer events. It's strength in numbers. The first one that we did was fucking amazing. You know what I mean? Because you can feel the wave. And maybe because, uh, I don't know, I had never been involved in a prayer event with that many people. So now I'm kind of getting used to it. But for those that have just been joining us, I know that shit felt great. It's like a fucking high. So I know exactly how you felt. This, this type shit. So there's more. You know what I mean? And if we all vibing, how they going to stop both us? They can't stop us, G. That's what this shit is. That's why your spirit guys muscling these motherfuckers up out of here. I'm telling you. One on the secret of uh, Slick Rick here in the blessing in disguise. Some shady motherfucker was uh, put in your path for a reason. Uh, as a result of your prayers, you're going to find out why this shady motherfucker was put in your path. This person is a liar. You're going to find out why you ran into this person or why you dealt with them strength card to see what you could withstand here any sign with the magician is out here i heard y'all say it yeah i got leo sagittarius uh anything with the magician here the girlfriends is like a cancer scorpio pisces the girl writing people off is like an air sign so i mean shit everybody out here y'all really uh yeah Put one with this strength card real quick. Yeah, judgment. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is somebody you damn sure don't fuck with. Uh, this happened before the prayer event, they said, or this is this will happen to you. Uh, somebody you're going to uh, see right through that you really don't necessarily want to disconnect from, convent. It could be anyone, family, friend, lover, whatever the fuck, right? Uh, you separating from this person or asking for the strength to, to get some clarity. Remember, I was like, we need to be asking for discernment and you know what I mean? Clarity and shit. Use our intuition, be crispy and clean on that. Uh, cause this motherfucker got sunglasses on sitting on the line and then popping out the grave. There are no sunglasses and shit. So a lot of y'all are going to uh, be shown something, but it was when you were ready to. A lot of y'all, they keep saying you dodged a bullet. G you dodged the bullet. Some of y'all that's fucking literally. As a result of your prayer, some of y'all or someone in regards to you dodges a bullet. It missed them by that much, I heard. Damn. It, it's uh, at somebody's house. It comes through the window, they said. And it hits a glass. It goes to the kitchen. Damn. They very graphic with that. Uh, it goes through the window, uh, like a living room window, and goes straight through the kitchen. It hits like a wine glass or hits like some glasses or something like that. Man. Okay. Hmm, what y'all got going on? Shit, I mean, I'm glad you was at prayer, but damn, shit, motherfucker. Shout out to D'Angelo. Uh, as a result of the prayer, some of you guys who have been, uh, some of you guys are going to know that someone got back with someone. that this person went back somewhere that they don't want to be. Real shit, I think my divine masculine did. I could feel it, and I'm like, I mean, I don't want him, but I felt it though. Like, you're gonna be able to feel it, you'll know. And uh, ain't no pinnacles out here, so I know why the fuck mine went back there. I mean, it kind of looked like y'all's kind of too. You know what I mean? Whoever resonates with that message. This may be somebody you're not even interested in anymore, like I said, but you will feel the court uh, snap or break or some shit like that. Crazy shit is you also know that this person is still going to want to be with you. <laughs> Crazy shit, fatal attraction and try to keep you as a side piece, even though they did this shit. It's almost like you, uh, I mean, I feel like you already knew this, uh, convent, but it's almost, it's a blessing in disguise. They're telling me. Cause remember at once upon a time you wanted to be whoever this person went back to like, no, I want to be with that person. As soon as he leaves or she leaves that person, me and this person are going to be together. Nah, nah, he gonna go back or she's going to go back to that other person. Cause they didn't change a blessing in disguise. This motherfucker still a lion dog face pony soldier as a result of your prayers. And probably the ones before even this one, they didn't even say this prayer event. They just said your prayers convent. So this could be prayers just every night that you putting out there every day, whenever you do it. I'm just hearing as a result of your prayers, though. So uh, some of y'all are being released from this contract here, from a contract. Let's say that. 
or you releasing yourself. This person may still try to be tied to you, but like I said, your spirit guy's muscling this motherfucker D fuck up on out of here, G. Some of you guys are, uh, yeah, they're gonna, they keep saying you dodged a bullet. Something that you didn't wanna see or that you would have been disappointed in seeing, you're being removed from this shit. Real shit. I, it feels like a, a family, a friend group. Uh, it could be a business or something like that. Something like, or someone else being removed from this shit. It's either you're being removed for your own good. Uh, let's just say this whole environment is toxic as fuck and it's not even like retrievable or curable. So it'd be easier to take you out to salvage the salvageable. In other news, if it's more high vibe and activity there, this motherfucker getting yanked out. So it depends on what it is. You know what I mean? If everybody there trying to do the right thing, everybody up in this bitch is Spike Lee and fucking Voldemort walk in, we gonna muscle that motherfucker and get him the fuck up on out of here. So it just depends on where you are. Uh, what environment, what you putting out and shit. If you putting out good energy, then damn sure these people getting uh, muscled the fuck up out of your life. And you ain't had to do shit. Some of y'all, uh, like I said, uh, bad, well, I didn't say this, but some bad shit is happening to someone around you. They trying to figure out what to do. They want to kind of reach out to you, they mama, they daddy. They don't even know where to go. There's a lost person out here that wants to come to you, uh, convent. Uh, as a result of your prayers, the crazy shit is, remember, we all have free will. So as a result of your prayers, maybe this person felt your energy, but they still ain't confident enough to really come and say something to you or to even ask for your help. They didn't did you so motherfucking dirty, whoever the fuck this is. That's the secret. Seven of swords. They was a lion dog face pony soldier. So uh, they don't want to see that, self, that part of themselves. Strength with the judgment card. It's a blessing in disguise for you. Cause a motherfucker that don't even want to see the shit in they self, how the fuck you gonna help somebody like that, G? You know what I'm saying? How the fuck you gonna help somebody like that? Don't they need to know what area they need help in? So how you helping somebody and it's almost like, well, what do you need? They're like, I need a hundred dollars. Like for what? Like my light bill, like, okay. And what are you gonna do for the next one though? Like, do you plan on getting a job? Like, are you gonna always come to me for a fucking hundred dollars for this light bill type shit? That person don't want to answer that fucking question. They'd be like, well, forget it. I just won't come and ask you. Blessed in disguise. Thank you, big niche. Shit, I ain't never got to beg a motherfucker to spend my money. Shit, you crazy? This type shit. Convent. Uh, your, uh, they told me as a result of your prayers, your uh, spirit is a bug repellent now. Remember I kept saying a gnat at a barbecue, G. So motherfuckers hate it. They say the, uh, the smell of God is either a stench or a perfume to people. It says that in the Bible. So uh, you'll know people that don't fuck with you more than likely it's a stench or they try to keep their distance or they fuck you over just because uh, it's the stench of God <laughs> to them. To others, it's a sweet smell. You know what I mean? So as a result, I feel like you'll be able to uh, know why these people are treating you this way. Uh, it like it makes sense or some shit. Hmm. As a result of these prayers, some of y'all are not gonna reconcile with somebody. They gonna fuck it up before you, it's almost like you were on your way to reconciling with somebody, they fuck it up right before you do, and you like, thank you, Jesus. You ain't even mad. You ain't even mad. That's how you know, man, you done elevated to the next level in the game. It's almost like, I ain't mad that the motherfucker did me dirty. I'm just thankful that God got me out. I've been ungrateful, but thankful, yep. I've been ungrateful a lot. I'm ready to be thankful for some shit. Good looking out, good looking out. Usually when you do that type shit, it's always a blessing in disguise. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond type shit. That's what this is. A lot of y'all cut y'all losses as a result of these prayers. It was like, fuck it, shit. I heard that. What can you do? Shit. As a result of your prayers, uh, some relationship with your spirit guy, I feel like it's a specific one. Uh, it's going to strengthen. There's one in particular that you guys have or an ancestor. Uh, that bond strengthens. You're going to hear this person, period. That part is very true. Like it's just going to strengthen like the uh, not uh, the bond, but like your uh, communication with them. If, if that's, I mean, you know, you clear audience and shit, that shit going to get strong as fuck. Strength card. Real shit. 
and they gonna put your ass up on mad game and shit. They be making drinks and rolling blunts and all kind of shit. Look, hmm, they be kicking it. Your spirit gun ain't going nowhere. Look, you gonna have to drag your spirit. That's how protected you are. And they got a little uh, scrappy do on the side, little side piece spirit guide and shit. That's what's up. Yeah. Uh, I feel like people getting muscled at the door is what I'm hearing. It's what you hearing. I'm hearing people getting muscled <laughs> at the door like a bouncer. Damn. So that's protection, convent. As a result of your prayers, you're damn sure protected. Okay. What's to be? Uh, as a result of your prayers, uh, somebody's animal comes back. I think it's a cat. Remember that cat I told you that left? That motherfucker. I Bring me to life. Wake me up inside. That motherfucker ain't dead. I don't know if you got a possum or a cat. But, uh, Fluffy has arisen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fluffy has arisen. I don't know if you thought you lost them or maybe it got hurt or something. But that cat's strong. They got nine damn lives. I mean... Shit, maybe it's true for your kitty. Shit. Oh, shit. All right. I'm hearing as a result of your prayers, a lot of your eating habits are going to change. A lot of these uh, things that are just bad for your body, our bodies, right, are about to change. Uh, it promotes long life. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, whoever this is, uh, these two people that don't love each other, having children, uh, having love, secret love childs and shit. They told me to remind you that, uh, in the Bible, it says, honor your mother and father and your days will be long. They telling me, uh, what about your kid though? Like, are y'all the type of parents that this kid gonna honor? You know what I mean? It's almost like it ain't even about you no more. Like uh, this kid, like mm -mm. y'all need to think about that. Hey man. You know, why everything, <laughs> yeah, girl, I got him and you didn't get him. Yeah, okay, bitch. Watch how that little motherfucker treat you when he 18 and shit. Okay, yeah, you got him. He act just like his damn daddy or she act just like her damn mama. So, yeah, ain't nobody proud of that shit. You know what I'm saying? That ain't no generational bloodline. Nobody want to fucking hang on no mantle, put on no mantle and shit. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so as a result of this, there's still dumbass people, uh, convent trying to throw up karmic relationships in your face and, and uh, children born out of loveless relationships and shit. That shit just begets more children that don't honor their uh, parents and that don't live long. It literally says that in the Bible. So, I mean, shit, I don't know. It's almost like who really got the last laugh, though? Shit. Mm -hmm. Anyway. You protected convent, real shit. Anybody felt like people been after him and shit? I don't know, maybe on a physical uh, level. Or not, energetically, financially, emotionally. I don't know. I just hear Janae Aiko. Now many men, many, 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 many men wish death upon me. Have mercy on me. Cause I'm just a prisoner of your army of one But I'll fight till the death or until your heart is one Yeah, Janae Aiko Cause where I'm from, we live for the love, die for the love That's why we came to the prayer event We live for the love and we die for the, for the love of God I'm talking about the Most High so I'm just a prisoner of your army of one. That's why I said you, when they say you're God's child, it's true. At this point, convent, I really feel like, uh, and I've told y'all this before, and maybe it'll it'll get to this point. If not, if you really are on this uh, journey and I ain't trying to toot toot or beat beat. But usually when you get into like this uh, real like connection with him, in my experience, you really do feel like you're the only one. Want you to make me feel like I'm the only girl in the world, basically. It's, it's how it should feel. Uh, 
in regards to your relationship with the Most High. Like, I'm the only girl that you'd ever love. Of course, we know he has the whole world in his hands and there are his other children out here, of course. But I'm saying that's how wonderful he is that he make you feel like you the only girl in the world. That's the relationship that uh, a lot of you are coming into with the Most High as a result of your prayers if you aren't already there yet, G. If you ain't already there yet. That's why many men can wish death upon you. You know what I'm saying? But uh, like you said, have mercy on me. Basically, God got mercy on you. It's a, uh, some enemigos out here, man. Real shit. Dodging bullets, they keep saying. They muscling these motherfuckers. What's this, a club? You can find me in the club. We got a club at D-U-L. Okay. <laughs> what on unrequited love, secret love child, secrets exposed, and the hangman? Damn. You got double secrets and double hangman. Get that shit. Double hang. Double secrets. I heard somebody uh hung themselves. Ooh. They make me say shit, and I didn't mean to say that like that, convent. Okay. I'm going to leave that one right there. Because uh, I actually didn't mean it in that context, and it came out just like that. So, Yeah. Uh, I actually meant it in a, uh, context like someone set their own trap and they fell into it is what I meant. They got set up by themselves or by someone else. They're realizing that, uh, people are talking about someone convent and I don't feel like you're involved in this at all. I feel like this is an enemigo G or somebody tried to do you dirty. Uh, people are now talking about this person. Their home life, uh, their gift, their children, their relationships, their family, uh, their emotional state, their mental. Their que people are questioning uh, other people now. You know, a lot of people are waking up. So people are seeing through shit. But there are still some blind uh, mice out there for sure. Shit. But uh, yeah, it's two hang men out here. Hmm. Yeah, whoever this uh, Seven of Swords person is, this pizza eating lady and shit, the blessing in disguise for you, this is the person that's uh has gotten wrapped up or trapped up in their own web and shit, basically. And they are the laughing stock. I'm hearing they are your footstool or they will be as a result of your prayers. Mm. Children don't even like this person. Pay attention if your baby start crying around specific women or people. Like they don't want to be held by uh, their uncomfortable. Pay attention to that shit. Your baby must have been in prayer too. Something's been laid on your baby. <clears throat> if your baby was around, I mean, it's probably just as a result of you participating. But I'm hearing specifically for those, like if the baby was on Nana account, like the baby was there during the prayer event. Like, no, the baby was like your sidekick, like your Robin side piece here with the baby and shit. Uh, your baby got anointed that day. I'm hearing. Okay. So there's a, uh, so there's spirit guides in regards to your children out here as well. Your children have spirit guides and, uh, ancestors around them naturally if they're around you convent, but something specific about a kid that was there, uh, babies that were actually present. Wow. That's deep. That's dope. Yeah, she's shaking. They keep saying anointed. They were anointed with oil, some oil or something. I don't know. I told y'all we had a nursery. This is a really good school. I told you we had a nursery here. All are welcome. Well, don't let them hear me when I'm talking, but prayer events for show. Sure. Babies are always welcome. Animals, nanas, uh, everybody, shit. Uh, one on writing people off, drinking the cope with the motions and the magician reverse. The fool. The fool. This is what's to come. So the damn dog turned on the damn fool. Remember on the regular deck, the dog trying to stop the fool or frolic with the fool and shit. Now the dog ain't fucking with the fool and shit. It's you. You ain't fucking with the fool. <laughs> Writing people off. Yeah. Uh, as a result of this uh, prayer, a lot of y'all boundaries are uh, set in stone, I heard. Look at these roses. They don't, I don't know what color that is, but it looks like concrete. You know what I mean? It's set in stone. Ain't nobody crossing that shit. Yeah. 
boundaries. You know your limits. Drinking to cope with emotions. You know what you can stand ska and what you can't stand ska. And your damn show can't stand ska. A manipulator, a lying motherfucker, somebody trying to uh, fuck with your shine and shit, your glow, your emotions, all that shit. You know. So basically, uh, you seeing through people's bullshit. This it feels like passive aggressive in regards to this shit. People that think you fucking stupid and shit. Real shit. Till you snap on they motherfucking ass and let them know you bought that motherfucking life and shit. <laughs> I told the bitch you motherfucking right, basically. Uh, I don't drink to cope with emotions and shit. I I'm not one of them bitches. I am Letarian sometimes. Shout out to Divine Masculine. We could get into this shit. I don't want to. I've written that part of myself off and shit. That magician reverse type shit. But uh, the way my spirituality is set up and shit. You know what I mean? Uh, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. But it didn't say I didn't have to defend myself, though. It never says that in the Bible. It says no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Now, there's a couple things you got to take in consideration with that verse. Number one, do you keep putting yourself in situations like this where weapons are constantly formed against you? And that could be why they keep rat tat tat rat tat tat rat tat 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 your ass up and shit because you keep putting yourself in low vibing ass situations. Or could it just be like a very uh, innocent or just regular life experience situation where this is uh, you doing your shit, DU studies, and somebody tries to uh, run up? Shit. No weapon formed will prosper, it didn't, but the weapon forms. So it does present itself. It doesn't prosper either because your spirit guys step in or because you decide to defend yourself. Either way, your strength and your discernment and shit is what helps you get through either scenario. So in, res in regards to your prayers, a lot of y'all going to know when to fight back and when not to. Shit. But uh, a fight is required here. It's, look, fucking night. Yeah. Yeah. He's dressed up in... Uh, the armor of the Lord basically is what this is. Yes, exactly. A lot of y'all are going to realize that uh, as a result of this prayer, some things you will have to stand up against David and Goliath. He could have easily been like, no, nah, I'm going to stay. I tell y'all that all the time. He could have waved some Palo Santo in Goliath's face like, man, I don't want to fight, G. You know what I mean? I just came to bring my brother's lunch. You know, but somebody had to do the shit. Shit. Fucking bully and shit, fuck all that. But I told you, that's for the anointed ones and shit that know. You know what I mean? No weapon form. Like, so you ain't scared to knock down no giant. Punks jump up to get beat the fuck down. As a result of the prayer, you realize this shit. So some of y'all uh, cast a stone at uh, Goliath with your slingshot is what I heard. Hmm, that's what's up. Uh, One on the soul, stay woke. Fatal attraction. Side piece. Some look as a result of this, cause they just showed me Glenn Close. Remember that movie with Michael Douglas and shit. Uh, some woman, somebody does find out about someone having a child or being with someone else, and that shit is not good. I don't know if she going around cooking bunnies or whatever the fuck, or uh, taking Ellen to the amusement park without her mama permission and all this other shit, and I don't know. But uh. I mean, I feel like uh, shit's safe, but I mean, somebody, look, as a result of your prayers, convent, some uh, muggle loses their mind, <laughs> basically, in regards to like a relationship or they realize where they really stand with someone or something is like revealed to someone. I don't know. Something like that. Who they really are as a person. Is what I'm being told. So maybe, shit, yeah, they said a muggle. Shit, like I just said. Like, we all karmics or have been uh, in the past. So, yeah, this person realizes that they are in this energy. You know what I mean? Like, when you real, like I told y'all, when my brother got killed and I realized I was chasing that man, I realized what energy I was in. Like, damn, I will never see my brother again and this motherfucker just moved with some bitch. Like, and I've been like, it just didn't make, it like just clicked. You know what I'm saying? Like never a fucking again, y'all. That's been like almost three years. I, I know it to the, it's like never again. I felt so ashamed of myself. You know what I mean? Cause I'm like, that was stupid as fuck. Chase, you know what I mean? It just, I don't know. If you lost your brother in, like or anybody violently, you know what I mean? Where you know that you've been doing some other low vibing things at the time that you lose someone like that, it changed your whole fucking life or it fucking should, G. It fucking should. It's heavy. Page of Pentacles. <laughs> It's a heavy ass feeling to know that shit that I could have, you know what I'm saying? For some of y'all that don't know, my brother uh, got shot in a dope house and shit 
while he was sleeping. I don't know. Maybe if I talked to my brother and he told me like, yeah, these niggas tripping and all this other shit, I could have convinced my brother. Why don't you just leave, G? Just go home. Why you staying there? I don't know. Maybe he could have dodged a bullet. I know it's not my fault or no shit like that. And I know everything happens for a reason. But it's those. I would rather be like, well, damn, at least I was talking to my brother and I can at least say, you know what I'm saying? I spend as much time. I can't even say that shit, G. So that's why I will never, ever, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, waste no more time on a motherfucker like that like this here and all this other shit. That's why y'all writing people off and setting these high ass boundaries and standards and shit. You have to against manipulative lying ass people at that. What the fuck was I chasing that shit for? My brother didn't lie to me, never manipulate me or none of that shit. And I was chasing this motherfucker. That's some heavy ass shit to carry. And I will always carry it and I'm happy to carry it. Like the, the thorn in Paul's side, you know what I'm saying? So I never fucking forget. And I don't have to lose nobody else like that. Same shit, so stay woke. Boom, 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 boom. Basically, basically. So as a result of your prayers, you realizing a lot of people still stuck in this fucking energy, fatal attraction, third party energy, uh, fucking everybody having secret babies and all this other shit. Like the motherfuckers ain't lost enough. Basically you have convent as a result of your prayers. You realize that you've lost enough and you don't want to lose no more. G you ready for shit to be reconciled. You ready for your, uh, Seeds to be harvested, your shit, your crop. You know what I'm saying? For the cops come and try to snatch them. Cops come and try to snatch my crops, but what's yours is yours. It look like can't nobody pluck this off but this man. He's struggling. So this shit's yours. Page of Pentacles. It's yours. Nobody else's. Yeah, this shit belong to nobody. It's yours. Yeah, basically. What made me think about the gay girl? And I switched it up with a new thing. Young nigga came through on this Wu-Tang. Yeah, y'all coming through on that new shit, on that new Wu-Tang. Basically. Yeah. The 36 chambers. Right? Ain't it 36 chambers? That's what they said. Hmm. How you feel about, hey, coming home with a nigga for the night? If you never hit the lights. I know we only fucking out of spite because your man don't boom, 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 do you right. Basically. Yeah, that's this person over here that then set up this trap and all. Uh, somebody who was trying to do something to you spitefully, Convent, they have literally fallen into this ditch, G. They have. And what's yours is yours. Nobody else's. Damn. That's what's up. That's what's up. This is a very solid... Uh, piece of information that you are going to receive in regards to some situation where uh, you possibly felt threatened or you wanted, you weren't really sure about how, uh, like what was going on. You're about to get some, your spirit guy's about to drop it on you. It's going to be heavy too, G, whatever they tell you, or this is for somebody else. I feel like you get some information that's kind of heavy, but I feel like it reconfirms some shit for you, but somebody external to you, they get a, a, a dose of reality here. Uh, who they are and it ain't good it ain't good so maybe you uh like i said maybe you chuck the stone at this person i don't know during the prayer event maybe after i don't know but i feel like whatever it is they're they're telling me to tell you that it all happened the way that it was supposed to happen it's a blessing in disguise and it's true uh I mean, God forbid it was my brother, but had that never happened, I wouldn't probably be here to, I'd probably be chasing some other motherfucker right now, doing all kind of letarian shit, okay? I'm telling you. So it is a blessing in disguise, a hurtful one, you know what I'm saying? But shit, strength card. And I'm talking about, that shit was fucked up. Uh, <laughs> bitches that was fucking the motherfucker that killed my brother was sitting up in the funeral and shit. We didn't know at the time, but oh, I'm talking about that type of shady ass shit going on. You know what I mean? Like, Take a lot of this type of shit for you to be like, yeah, I will never again. I will never. I mean, I done seen some grimy ass shit before. Uh, so it's almost like when I see any hint of that shit, like if you give me a hint that you want some fuck shit, I know what you're capable of because I see motherfuckers. I see motherfuckers get real low and real dirty that call themselves your family, friend, lover, all that shit. All y'all have. All of us have. Difference between us and them is that I'm not about to uh, test that shit out again. I'm going to believe what I see the first time and shit and I'm fucking out. And shit, as a result of your prayers, your intuition getting super stronger. Your discernment is super duper stronger. And it will be a, a, a great tool in your door of the Explorer backpack. It's a great tool to have. It's a blessing in disguise. It's going to take you far in life. Real shit. And it builds character, I'm being told. Because you know who you are. So, of course, you're yourself. 
So naturally you would build character because it's yours. Hello? That's what you get recognized for. Some of y'all become a politician. Uh, this is way down the road, uh, like in your latter years. Some, somebody I'm talking to is either gonna become a, uh, I'm hearing an aide in the White House. Not, not under this administration, hell no. I said when you get older, older. So uh, this is, I'm talking to a young person right now. Uh, this is when you age, you're gonna end up in the White House. Some type of way, they said an aide. I hope you ain't fucking Monica Lewinsky and all that other shit, cause she was an aide too. Um, bitch, throw the dress away, why are you saving it? She done gave it to her auntie. Here auntie, let the whole my cum stained dress. I may need it one day. Uh. Yeah, there's some uh, extortioners that are going to be exposed as well as a result of these prayers. People trying to extort their blackmail people with cum filled dresses and what? Ooh. <laughs> strength card again on top of the strength card. You got double strength, double hangman here. So this person, uh, remember I picked up on someone who was going to uh, try to harm themselves. I feel like they don't with the double hangman because we got the double strength card here. So they don't. Uh, maybe it was a blessing in disguise that they almost took it that far. I feel like, uh, someone, uh, attempts to do it. They ask black the fuck out. And I feel like somebody comes to them, an ancestor spirit guide or something, or someone does drugs, oldies, and they meet somebody in that, uh, other realm, whatever the fuck. And it changed their whole life as a result of this. So there's somebody who uh, has some crossover. Yeah. Wherever you are. Oh, oh, whatever you need. Yeah, Eric Sermon. Motherfucker get preached to. Huh, basically, somebody uh damn near crosses over. And as a result of your prayer, someone like uh it's like you may have tried to tell this person about God and your spirituality and they kind of brush that shit off. Someone somebody has a near death experience or some type of shit like that. This is not for everybody. But uh they ass wake the fuck up. Literally and to spiritually. They wake the fuck up, G. Wow. All right, convent. That's been right back Monday. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single person getting no fit nuts. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye.